have the Adam Zorro marketing update? Yeah, I just finished with it. Thank you. Uh, Ray, hold it. Just not so fast. Something is bothering you. Have things on my mind. I can see that. Tell me. Business? Is it? I don't think so. I think you're still upset about Kim and me. I want to reassure you. Do we really have to go into all well, that again? I thought we promised each other total honesty. Now, you've been a little removed from me all day. Makes me nervous. I'm sorry. You're quite right. I uh, made you promise to be honest, and now I'm the one that's backing off. All right. The problem is you and Kimberly. Every time, all day that my mind wanders, it just heads straight out to that ledge. What kind of involvement? You crawled out on a ledge and risked your life to save her. How did it happen? Yeah, I figured this was it. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Elliot tried to get in touch with you and Seneca. Then he called me. I couldn't have lived with myself if I hadn't gone and something had happened to Kim. I would have done the same for any friend, but especially for Kim. The involvement being she's your daughter. That's not good enough for you, is it? OK, let me tell you something about responsibility, about me. When I was in high school, I dated a girl named Amy. I didn't love her any more than I love Kim. And everybody says this, but I don't think I really knew what love was then. What happened? I got her pregnant, and she had an abortion. Michael, that happens thousands of times. Oh, sure. Look, if, if this is going to be painful for you, you don't have to tell me the details. Uh, all right, I... then just one detail. Amy has been in a mental institution almost continuously since then. Well, you can't blame yourself for that. Well, no, not entirely. I mean, she had problems before I came along, but I am partly responsible. I mean, I am responsible. She, it shapes who I am. When I saw Kimberly out on that ledge, it reminded me of that beautiful little girl whose life I messed up. So you see why I had to help Kim. Oh, Michael. Just when I begin to think, I know you. No, no, I told you so you would understand not to get sympathy. Well, it means a great deal to me mm. that you felt you could tell me. You mean a great deal to me. And I want you to understand. <laughs> now what I want is yes. to forget about work and... Forget about everything else but us. I want to take you out for a change. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you have in mind? No, I don't know. Something radical. Let's skip the limousine. We'll take my old car. I'll take you to this great restaurant in Sheep's Head Bay. We'll have clams. <laughs> and then we'll go for uh, hot dogs and a couple of turns of bumper cars. Oh, I love <laughs> it. I love it. I love you. <laughs> well, listen, I, I, I may be a little bit rusty. I haven't done bumper cars since Topeka. Oh, that's not so long ago. Yeah, it is. But it doesn't feel like it, not when I'm with you. Good. Because I want you to be happy. Because that's how you make me feel. It's almost frightening how important you are to my happiness. Um, I am going to go get my coat, and then you and I are going to put uh, your magnificent plan into effect. Michael Pavel. Hi. I Look, this is a real bad time. As a matter of fact, any time calling me at the office is bad, please promise me you won't call here again. Michael, please. I have to talk to you. Hi, Doc. Is John home yet? No. But I expect him any minute. He's, uh, 
He's rehearsing the Mother's Day program at school for tomorrow. Mm. I'll wait for him then. Has he picked up on any of the talk about the change in wedding plans? Oh, not that he's let on. He's been busy at school. Of course, he may have overheard us when we were talking about it and us not know about it. I have to tell him before he hears it from somebody else, but I would rather be doing anything but this. Yeah, not going to be easy. There's a lot more you want to say, Doc. Go ahead. Don't carry it around. <laughs> Is there anything I can say that you haven't already said to yourself a hundred times? I doubt it from looking at you. It's more like a thousand. I can't talk my dad. Hi. to every story. One life to live. Tonight at 9 on Subnet. They will kill anybody who gets in their way. Inside a desperate crisis. Help me here! Defiance. You are a pig. Declaration. I love you. I love you too. A daring infiltration. Freeze! Her father's heart attack. Her best friend in labor. And the devil's own choice. Who goes free? You decide. But the tables will turn. I can see the lobby. GH on ABC and SoapNet. The View has changed mornings across America. We are live! The New York Times says it's the best party. I love it! The kind that invites a police raid. <laughs> about Entertainment Weekly says watch it explode. Dynamite! And they're saying Rosie is the year's best hire with a cutting edge. We like to fight. Making it must view TV. Everyone's talking. Can we say this on live TV? Are you watching The View? Weekdays only on ABC. Every time you try to put your necklace on, it's a hassle. That's because you have to get those two tiny little clasps to hook together. And if you got long nails, forget it. You actually need someone to do it for you. But now, putting on your jewelry just got a lot easier. Because now, there's Clever Clasp, the magnetic jewelry clasp that attaches to any necklace. Then, just bring them together, and they click and lock. Simply attach a clever clasp to each end of your jewelry, and that's it. Bring them together, and your jewelry's on, even behind your back when you can't see what you're doing. Watch. Just get them close, and your jewelry's on. Clever clasp is available in silver or gold to complement all your jewelry. Plus, the super strength magnets are guaranteed to grip and never slip. So even your heaviest necklaces are perfectly secure. And no more hassling to get your bracelets on either. With clever clasp, it's a snap, perfect for anyone who has trouble seeing or difficulty reaching back to hook their necklace. Even with long nails, Clever Clasp is a snap. Plus, our deluxe Clever Clasp has a built-in locking device to keep all your jewelry safe and secure. Just bring them together and your jewelry is on. So stop struggling with your jewelry or relying on someone else to help. Call now and get a set of four gold Clever Clasps, a $30 value for only $14.99. As an added bonus, you'll also receive our three-inch extender chain. It's perfect for adding extra length to your necklaces or just to make your jewelry a little more comfortable around your neck. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer and also give you four silver Clever Clasps and a three-inch silver extender absolutely free. That's right, you get eight Clever Clasps, four gold and four silver plus two extender chains, an incredible $60 value for just $14.99. But you have to call now. To order your Clever Clasp, call 1-800-748-0359. That's 1-800-748-0359. Don't delay. Call now at 1-800-748-0359. Hi, John. How's it going, little John? Okay. Have a good rehearsal, huh? Mm-hmm. I better go down. I got work to do. How was school today, John? Okay, I got an A on my spelling test. Oh, that's terrific. 
What about math? Are you still having problems with Sister Anne? No. No? That's good. That's good. You know, I had Sister Anne for math when I was about your age. I was scared of her, too. In fact, I still am. But you pay attention to her, and you'll learn a lot. She's a good teacher. How was your Mother's Day rehearsal? OK, I'm singing a song in the program. You want to hear it? Maybe a little later, yeah. Right now, I have to talk to you about something very important. Uh-oh, is it about Sister Anne? Well, now I thought you said you two weren't having any problems. Maybe a little. Oh, well, we'll put that on the list for later. This is something different. Come on over here, sit down. I think the best thing to do is to come straight out and tell you. Faith and I aren't going to be married after all. I made a serious mistake, John, and I've hurt Faith's feelings very, very badly. But I knew that if I went ahead, I realized that if I went ahead and married her, it would be a worse mistake, and I would hurt her even more. Why? Why would I hurt her? Because... Do you remember being told about that special kind of love that two people have or should have before they get married? Yes, Jill told me and you. And I told you, right. Well, I don't think that I would be able to have that kind of love for Faith. Why not? That's very complicated, John, and it's very personal. Someday when you're older, maybe we'll have another talk and you'll understand it better. But I knew that if I went ahead, you're just going to have to trust me. I know, I know things are changing around a lot for you lately, and I'm, are you disappointed? Well, where am I going to live? Well, for now, everything is going to stay as it is, and I'm going to continue fixing up your room over at my apartment. With the loft bed? Yeah, with the loft bed. I'd like And that means that you would be able to come over and stay with me more often, which means that we could do a lot more things together. I'd like that. I'd like that, too. Did, did you decide not to marry Faith because you love Jill? John, I... I do love Jill. Though that doesn't mean that we're going to get married or anything. And Jill didn't cause the breakup with Faith. I just knew that if I went ahead and married Faith, that it wouldn't be very fair to her. And she doesn't understand that yet. Is she mad? Yes, she's mad. And she's also very sad. I'm sorry she's sad. I like, I like her. I know that. But I'm and so does she. But I'm glad you love Jill. I gotta go practice my song some more. Well, this is um, a surprise. I was hoping that things might be a little more in perspective for both of us. I realize there's still a lot more that needs to be said. Oh, I agree. <laughs> but to hell with perspective, I don't have that much time. So whatever you think that we need to say to one another, let's say it now. I can't tell you how important it is. You can't call me at the office. Oh, it's all right. I had a code name already in case your secretary answered. It's kind of clever. Do you want to hear it? Kim, the secretary is not the problem. Your mother was just in here two seconds ago. Michael, please don't be angry with me. Seneca's been just awful. You'd think I'd take an acid on purpose, plus mainlined heroin, taking quaaludes, PCP, and antacid tablets all rolled into one big hit. He says I'm childish and irresponsible. Now, what's childish about accepting a drink at a party? Nothing, but listen, okay, I cannot... Okay, okay, I, I know, I know. I'll get to the point. I just want to thank you for what you did the other night. 
I really think you're the only person in the world that loves me enough to risk dying for me. I'm sure your husband would have done this. My thing. husband, Seneca. He probably might offer to perform emergency surgery on me, maybe, after I not fell. not funny, Kim. No, it's not funny, is it, at all? I get the shakes every time I think about it. Well, we shouldn't be talking about this at all right now. Oh, it makes me so sad. It's felt like my whole life is off-center, off-balance somehow. My best friend, my only friend, can't even talk to me on the phone. Kim, listen, it's not us that's making you feel off-center. It's not making up the fight with Seneca. He's your center. You're always saying that. When you brought me off the ledge, you said you loved me. I meant that. I love you, too, and, and I miss you. Oh, Kim, look, just because what happened the other night, we realized how we feel about each other, but that doesn't mean we're free to do anything about it. I mean, we can't even resume a friendship, let alone anything else. I don't want to have to get tough, but I will if I have to. But neither of us are going to like it. We've got too much at stake. I don't know if I do anymore. I mean, it's not much of a marriage. Seneca might love me, but I don't think he likes me, and I know he doesn't like anything that's important to me. Kim, I'm sorry. I wish I could help, but there's nothing more I can do. You're the only one who can do anything about this. Marion, we're finished. I'm hanging you know, up well, now. You might start getting ready to take off. Now, I know that took longer than you expected, but I wanted to clear up one last detail, which probably makes me a compulsive. What's wrong? Nothing. Who just gave me a lecture on honesty? Hmm? Oh, all right. It's it's nothing. I was just uh, finishing up some last-minute detail. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like I am being pulled at from all different directions. I mean, I've got to be in control of situations instead of the other way around. Oh, that, huh? I feel like that every day of my life. The only way you avoid that is by being at the bottom, not the top, and never having the ambition to want to go higher. And that ain't you, kid. <laughs> okay, now I thought we were going out. You feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, once I would get out of here. Okay. Damn it, I told Mary oh, okay. in the... Yeah, Mary. Uh, send him right in. Just one last little detail. Mm -hmm. Jack Finale. Wanted to get this straight to you, Ray. It's a uh, good, tight story. We've got him. Why do we love soaps? We live the biggest mystery in history. You know? When the stars count the reasons we love soaps. We make love anywhere on a soap. They're fun. The plotting and scheming. Back-to-back -back episodes of Dallas filled with exclusive interviews that will leave you. <laughs> it's all part of 100 Reasons We Love Soaps. Saturday starting at 1. On Falcon Beach. What's going on? It's the summer solstice. Any excuse for a party, I guess. Which can only mean sex. Aaron, you're totally beautiful. Sex. I think you're really amazing. And more sex. Perhaps I can be of service. Falcon Beach. Saturday at noon and again Sunday at midnight on SoapNet. Looking for excitement but don't know where to turn? Go fish. The kids from 90210 know where to find it. We don't even need a TV. We have days of our lives right here. Actually, it's a little more like Young and the Rest. Watch 90210 Days and Y&R here on SoapNet. Comfort Soft Waistband. Wrapped in soft cotton and tagless, it can make every move this comfortable. Look who we've got our hands on now. The Hanes Comfort Soft Waistband, our most comfortable underwear ever. For years, I've been telling you how to get cash now for your structured settlement or annuity payments. Times change, and your financial needs change with them. If you need cash today, J.G. Wentworth can help. We work with thousands of people just like you to get the most cash for their structured settlement or annuity payments. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call J.G. Wentworth today. Call 866-778-4919. Why can the sharpest knives cut through anything? The secret's in the steel. 
And now the indestructible steel that creates the sharpest knives has been forged into a razor. Introducing the Lady Infinity Razor with blades so sharp and durable it comes with a lifetime replacement guarantee. Carbon injected steel is fused with tungsten carbide, so every razor stays new blade sharp. This is the last razor you ever have to buy. To prove it, we shaved grit off sandpaper and then shaved these sexy legs, touchably close. Why spend hundreds on replacement blades when the Lady Infinity will last a a lifetime. Call now and your Lady Infinity Razor is only $19.95 with a double guarantee, a lifetime replacement guarantee, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call right now. We'll double your order. Buy one, get one free. Plus, we'll add this six-piece Infinity Manicure Set, a $15 value free, and this seven-inch chef's knife, a $30 value free. It's an $85 value, only $19.95. Call now. Some people really know how to move. When you're moving, we'll get your Direct TV up and running in your new place free. Just make one call to Direct TV Movers Connection and arrange a date to move your service. It's free, it's easy, and it's one less thing to worry about. Call 1 866 Way You Move. That's the way to move without missing a beat. I like the way you move. I'm not sure what you think that we have to say to one another. Maybe you just had to reassure yourself that I'm not hysterical or, or drunk. No. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Neither you or Frank is worth that much. You're right. No one's worth that. But I still don't understand how you would think that either one of us would get satisfaction from that. I got drunk over you once before. Remember? When I found out that you were having an affair with Ken. I remember that, yes. I've learned a lot since then. About what's valuable. I didn't come here to get into a fight with you. Why Faith. did you come here, Joe? Why? Because I want to make something clear between us. This conviction that you have that I encourage Frank's feelings for me. And you're troubled by it. Well, that is just too bad because you came to the wrong person for sympathy. I'm not asking you for sympathy. I'm asking you to try to understand this situation. Well, it isn't that complicated. Did you want me to explain it to you? Somehow you failed to convince Frank that you're not still in love with him. And then you sat back and you waited until you got exactly what you wanted. Or didn't want. The point being that I didn't get what I wanted. Do you really believe that I would do something like that well, to you? You have done it since we were children. Whatever I have or I want, you end up taking it. That just isn't true. Oh, I can give you a million and one examples. Most of them having to do with Dad, interestingly enough. A lot of them with Roger. A lot of them day-to-day -day domestic details, but all basically the same. Jillian and my mother's amber beads you are talking about something that happened 20 years ago. What are you keeping a record of all I the should have. I should have, because my memory isn't all that retentive. I don't believe this. Once, just once, face the truth about yourself. I can't, because what you're saying isn't true. Taking is as natural as breathing for you. You wanted Frank Ryan, and you took him. I don't have him. Well, I sure as hell don't. You have him. You have his love, and he has yours. How many times do I have to tell you there is no future between Frank and me? Do you love him? Do you want him? Look me straight in the eye and answer me that. Oh, for heaven's sake. Do you love him? He came to me months ago. Do he you love Frank? Me. That is not Are the question. Are you still in love with Frank? Yes! Yes, I love him and I want him! But I will never forgive him for the way he hurt you, what he did to us, and I am telling you that there is no future for us! The first part. That's all that matters. Faith, listen oh, to me. Oh, I, I cannot believe it took me this long to figure you out. My loving sister. No, I don't have a sister. I don't have a real sister. You know what you are? You are a stranger that came clawing into this family for love and attention, and that is all you have ever been! I guess this, uh... I guess there's no point in going on with this conversation. Uh
Science Hope is on next. Then unravel all the lies on the young and the restless. Later, it's all my children on SoapNet. Have you noticed, sir, the halo that's around my head? I don't want to be answerable to anybody else on the face of this earth. Ryan's Hope, next on SoapNet. Port Charles. Today at noon, only on SoapNet. Tonight on SoapNet, three women dead. <laughs> Two more in his sights. There's a guy out there that wants you dead. Now he gets to one of them. We can't wait to be picked off one by one. The deadly countdown continues. She's hanging between life and death. Watch All My Children tonight at 8 on SoapNet. Cold season dragging you down? <laughs> Keeping you under the weather? Retreat and renew with the gentle care of non-medicated Sudicare. Let Sudicare envelop you in soothing aromatic vapors, comforting vapors like menthol and eucalyptus. Retreat to your shower with Sudicare shower soothers or to your bedroom with Sudicare vapor plug. This cold season, get over the weather, not under it. Retreat and renew with the gentle care of non-medicated Sudicare. You know what I love about Raisin Bran Crunch? All the delicious raisins. I like the crunchy flakes and the granola clusters. You know, that's why it says crunch on there. Yeah, but raisins are before crunch on the box. Even brand made it before crunch. Yeah, but look how big the word crunch is. I mean, it just dominates the box. I like the box because in the middle of the word Kellogg's is hello, like a British greeting. Hello, governor. There are plenty of reasons to love Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. What's yours? Yeah, well, the rest of the story delivers what that paragraph promises. Documentation? Airtight. I have photos of the original lab reports which show excessive levels of pollutants in the water supply. I also have photos of the falsified versions of those lab reports which are on file with the EPA. I have a signed statement from Nick Lewis, the uh, lab technician who prepared both reports each month. Any statements from management? Yeah, I talked to a guy named Carl Chager. He's the uh, production manager at the plant, and I got a rather hot uh, denial. It sounded like guilt to me. But you don't say that here? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going to get you involved in a libel suit. Uh, I've double-checked everything. And if I miss something, I still have uh, the guy who calls himself Crimmins, one who blew the whistle on this in the first place. Actually, he's the, uh, he's the unsung hero behind all this. You know, look at him, you wouldn't think that he'd be the kind of guy who'd have the guts to... Risk his job and his family's security to, uh, how do you put it? Pay a debt he feels his company owes the community. Just seems like a nice guy worried about his wife and kids. Now, he'd be a good story if you let me write it, but I, uh, I promised him that I'd keep him out of it. Even so, it's nice to know that uh, we need any more information. He's right there in his office. Oh, hello there. Hello yourself. You've been in Arizona long? Uh, no, I just got here, in fact. I'm uh, really that pale, huh? A few days of sunshine and fresh air will take care of that. Where are you from? Oh, someplace where people get nervous. If they have to breathe air, they can't see. <laughs> but uh, I end up very quickly. I think I'm going to like it here. A lot. Falcon Beach is heating up SoapNet. Don't miss all the hot bods, steamy sex, and sizzling drama in this resort town. Falcon Beach, Saturday at noon and again Sunday at midnight on SoapNet.
morning. Good morning, Michael. Uh, this won't take a minute. Would you hold all calls, please? Yes, Mrs. Woodard. Something going on? I would say so, yes. Business or...? Last night. I thought last night was great. Didn't you love Coney Island? You said you did. Uh, or was it too much? Or is it something else? Thank you. Hey, wait a minute now. What's going on? Uh, just me feeling good, and you're the whole reason. I haven't had so much fun in at least 15 <laughs> years. I love bumper cars. I want to go back and ram into more people. I'm very aggressive. Yeah, I'm a little bit nuts, too. <laughs> Ignore that. I told her to hold all calls. Now, since you gave me last night, I'm going to give you tonight. I hope you got your dinner jacket ready. Mm, well, if I wear my dinner jacket, it's going to get all dirty. What on earth? Just a minute. I thought I told you explicitly. I'm sorry, but there's a gentleman here, Mr. Daniels, who insists on seeing you right away. It's in reference I don't have any appointment with a Mr. Daniels. No, but he came in from New Jersey. New Jersey? He said to see about a story in this morning's paper. <laughs> well, I have no intention of seeing him, as I'm sure you know. Now make an appointment with him for one of the vice presidents. Yes, Mrs. Woodard. Well? She's usually such a tiger with people who demand to see me. She must need a vacation uh, or something. Who was it that barged in? No idea. Now, about tonight, it is the third of our spring fever celebrations. What would you say to, oh, dinner at Henri's mm. and then the theater, anything which is not Kim's play? What on earth is going on? I assume you're Mrs. Woodard. I'm here to put you on notice that my lawyers are slapping a libel suit on you in this whole operation just as fast as they can get the papers together. Who do you think you are barging in here? My name that? is Edgar Daniels, young man. Now, you keep out of this. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. I'll go call security. Please. Now, Mr. Daniels, whatever your suit is, you go right ahead and file it, because while you are doing that, I will be filing against you for unlawful entry and trespassing. Unless you prefer to leave before my guards get here. Oh, you don't want me to leave, Mrs. Woodard. I'm president of Yellow Petrochemicals, the plant that was libeled this morning in Jack Finelli's column. The kindest thing I can do for you, Mrs. Woodard, is to collect $10 million. That is, if you're in agreement and we can reach one right now. Say my lines. Farah and Paul, the full story in their words. Soapography. Saturday at 12 midnight, only on SoapNet. SoapNet gives you one last chance to catch up on the week's worth of days. Spend Sunday nights in Salem. One whole week of confessions, obsessions, and transgressions. Spend Sunday nights in Salem, starting at 7 on SoapNet. Hello, friend. I'm Pat Boone. I'm here to tell you about the popular government-insured reverse mortgage program that's sweeping the nation. If you're a homeowner, 62 or over, a reverse mortgage may be the answer that you've been looking for. This unique program is a safe, easy way to turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. My friends at Financial Heritage are a national, award-winning leader in reverse mortgages, and they can help you turn the equity in your home into cash. The best part is there are no monthly payments. You keep the ownership to your home, and you continue to live there as long as you want. Reverse mortgages are government-insured FHA loans. The money is tax-free, and it won't affect your Social Security or Medicare benefits. Believe me, this is something you really want to take a look at. The folks at Financial Heritage have put together this free information kit that includes the top 10 things to know about a reverse mortgage. Thousands of people just like you have used reverse mortgages to make their dreams finally come true. Here's what some of our customers had to say. 
with my reverse mortgage, I can now go to sleep at night and not worry about, are the bills going to be paid? It's your money, it's your house, and it's tax-free. So now I can really enjoy my retirement. I have never felt so free and easy in my life. Think about it. With a reverse mortgage, you can stay in your home as long as you want. Use the money to pay bills, help with health care costs, remodel your home, or finally take that trip to visit the kids and the grandkids. So, if you or somebody you know is 62 or over, why don't you call now to get your free information kit with the top 10 things to know about a reverse mortgage. Just call the number on your screen right now. Find out how to make your dreams finally come true. There's absolutely no obligation, so call now. Hi. I'm glad I, uh, didn't wake you. Hell, I've been up for a good 20 minutes. I, uh, called you a couple of times. Yeah, I, I meant to get back to you. How are you? Okay, I guess. You know everything. Roger. Uh, I keep waiting to hear that Frank has left town or broken both legs or something. Why did he do this? The prince will do what he will do. Well, thanks. At least somebody doesn't blame me. Who am I to blame? How about some breakfast? No, no. I, I called the hospital. They said you're due at noon, so I thought maybe you could give me an hour or so. Well, you can stay with me this morning and then walk me over to surgery. Thanks. So, it's uh, going on three days. Have you recovered yet? I don't have to recover. Faith does. But honey, you're right in the middle. I am not in the middle. I keep trying to explain that to people. Frank has muddied the waters by using my name. When I begged him not to, I said, marry Faith and forget about me. Put me in the past and I would do the same. Anything to spare her. Frank has put me in the middle. That is not my position. I am with Faith, and that is the truth. He has hurt both of us, certainly her more than me. But we should be in this together, and we could be if she would just open her eyes and let me help her, let me support her, if she would just see. She's not going to see anything for a long, long time. Don't say that. She could be angry with Frank and, and not have to write me off. If it were a perfect world, that might be possible. But Faith can't separate you and Frank. She can't forgive you separately. We are separate. I don't want to have anything to do with him, no matter what he says, no matter how she twists what I say. Roger, I need, I need you to believe that. I need somebody to believe me. I did not steal my, my sister's fiancé. If I can call her my sister, maybe she doesn't want that anymore. Oh, Jill, don't go overboard. She has gone overboard. She said last night she couldn't expect me to care about her since I'm not her real sister. Yeah, well, that's the first time my adoption has ever been brought up to me in my entire life. By faith. I just sort of went blank. And then she, she kept hammering away, and I thought, well... I have to try to explain that the, the truth is just not a black and white thing. She kept asking me, do you want him? Do you love him? Well, what do you say to that? Yes, no, sort of, I did in the past, maybe. I think a simple yes would do it. What? I mean, part of Faith's anger comes out of frustration. She can't get you to admit, not to take the blame, but to admit that there's an extraordinary connection between you and Frank. For better or for worse, you probably do belong together. Every time you're apart, nothing goes right. You end up hurting each other. You hurt other people. Jill, I am not accusing you. There's just more to this situation than you will let in. You're on her side. Honey, I'm not on anybody's yes, side. Yes, you are. I came here because I thought maybe you could talk to what her for could me. What I possibly say? Nothing. I'm sorry, Look, I Jill, bothered. don't do that. No matter what Faith said to you, I believe that you are my real sister. And I love you so damn much, I have to tell you the truth. I can't, I can't fake it. I can't say everything's going to be all right, that, that Faith will get over it. I can't do that because I do care. Look, listen to me. Just sit down. 
No, I can't. Goodbye. Look, Roger. if if it's that hard to hear, then it must ring a bell. Just stop it! You, you stop running away from what you really want. I want Faith to be happy. I want her to marry Frank if that's what's going to make her happy. I hope they get back together again. I'll be out of your way in a moment. As a rule, I don't respond well to rudeness. However, I can understand that you're upset, and furthermore, I must admit I'm slightly curious. Michael, will you tell Miss Schultz that we won't be needing security? Take a seat, Mr. Daniels. There's not a single word of truth in Finelli's column. Jack is a highly credible, highly ethical journalist. Not a single word of truth. Oh, I can guess one reason why you tried to publish it. I can think of several. First and foremost, it seemed to us that the residents of the four counties whose water you were poisoning deserve to be informed. You're lying. Somebody made a deal. I beg your pardon? I have a lot of competitors. Which one is it? Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting that you're the victim of sabotage? Sabotage, in which you and fin Finelli cooperate for which you get money or holdings or who knows what. My guess is that it's Mylar International. I hope you're listening very carefully to this. Very. Good. Those are rather serious accusations. Oh, don't patronize me, Mrs. Woodard. My company is going public, as you're doubtless are aware. We're offering stock. And those investors might be scared off, but that stock ought to go sky high when it starts. And barring any complications, our competition will be run right into the ground, and they know it, and that's where Jack Finelli came in. However, you were induced to publish that trite. Excuse me, I publish the news, well documented and thoroughly researched, and I resent being maligned, especially to my face. Now, please, leave. What do you mean, thoroughly researched? I mean, did he test the phenol level in that stream? He has access to documents. Did he test the waters for toxic elements? Did the plant manager suggest that test when Jack called him? Of course not. Traeger knew that we were perfectly well within the uh, EPA limits. He had nothing to prove. Well, now he does, and good luck to him. Mr. Finelli has evidence for every single statement he made in that column. We have photographs of the original lab reports and the falsified version, signed by your chief of quality assurance and your operations manager. We furthermore have a signed statement from the lab technician who has been falsifying those reports for the past 10 months. What technician? That material was given to me last night. I can't divulge the name. Mm -hmm. Let me see it. I mean, let me see the photographs. They are in the hands of our legal department. Yes, if they exist at all, they're a fake, and Finelli's a damned liar. I find myself no longer interested in the gentleman behind pollution. Please show him to the door, Michael. We do not pollute drinking water. At Yellow, we do not falsify records. You have no confession from any employee of mine. But I grant you this, I stand to lose millions as a result of that column because people believe what they read. Which, in the case of my publication, happens to be the truth. Mrs. Woodard, we take environmental protection at Yellow very seriously because it is good business to do so. Yes, we do file monthly reports with the EPA from our own lab, but we also take random spot checks several times a month from those, for those waste emissions. And we hire an outside lab to do those tests. Now, does your Mr. Finelli have copies of those reports? I don't think so. So, now let me tell you what I want from you. I believe you mentioned 10 million. A $10 million settlement, payable now. I want a full retraction published tomorrow, and I want Finelli fired. Ridiculous. Ten million, a full retraction, and Finelli fired. Now, either you do it or I'll sue you for everything you've got. Good day, Mr. Daniels. Every day I'm kept waiting 
the amount of that libel suit will increase by five million. Oh. Get Jack in here fast. Oh, you don't think he's Wherever he is, it. you find him and you get him here. In soap opera weddings, you can wear white even if you've been married 10 times. Isn't white reserved for your first time? Is she pregnant? Is that why she's getting married? Wedding's the best because that's where the... It's the fan. People coming back from the dead, showing up at weddings. Whether you're getting abandoned at the altar, she cheated on you or slept with your brother or became a man for a little while. There's a lot of I do. And then... Mm, I don't today. <laughs> Watch 100 Reasons We Love Soap, Saturday, February 10th, starting at 1. Three women dead. Oh, oh, oh. Two more in his sights. There's a guy out there that wants you dead. Now he gets to one of them. We can't wait to be picked off one by one. The deadly countdown continues. She's hanging between life and death. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. When I get my beauty sleep, I look younger. But who has time for beauty sleep? That's where new Advanced Radiance Cream Foundation comes in. CoverGirl's most advanced age to fire yet gives you flawless coverage plus the glow of a good night's sleep. The formula with an Olay glucosamine complex rejuvenates skin like a night cream, reducing the look of wrinkles by 84%. So you look fresh and rested, even when you're not. New Advanced Radiance in a Cream from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. What you're seeing is the fastest weight loss solution on earth. New Rapid Slim SX. I lost 28 pounds fast. Now I look and feel great in my little black dress. Rapid Slim contains liquid FX technology, premium hoodia, and proven ingredients that speed to ignite your amazing transformation. I lost 28 pounds super fast. I reviewed the published research. As a doctor, I believe new Rapid Slim SX is the world's fastest weight loss solution. Get yours at buyrapidslim.com or supercenters, Walgreens, and find retailers everywhere. The U.S. Department of Labor Statistics projects that in the next year, there will be over one million new jobs in some of the fastest growing fields. With Penn Foster Career School, the nation's largest accredited school of independent home study, you could train for one of these jobs at home any time of the day or night in as little as six months. Choose one of our health care programs, medical office assistant, medical coding and billing, pharmacy technician, physical therapy aide, veterinary assistant, child daycare. You can even earn your high school diploma or earn your associate degree from Penn Foster College. Major in business, accounting, criminal justice, early childhood education, paralegal studies, or health information technology. Study online, in print, or a combination of both. You decide. And all the materials you need are shipped directly to your door. You could be working toward a new career in minutes. The call is free and there's no obligation. Call 1-800-562-9893 or go online at penfoster.edu. That's 1-800-562-9893. Call now. Hey. So you think you can dance? Catch me. Now what? Get your head and into the bed, girl. I didn't know you could dance without your tights. <laughs> Step up. Rated PG-13. Sorry. I thought I'd be in and out in a minute. I almost did another mile. Well, maybe you should go back out and finish. I don't want to. I'm glad I decided to come home. I can't believe all the stuff that's here. Faith. We were living together, but not all that long. And I always felt I had a foot back at the house. Significant, I suppose. Faith, I'm glad that you didn't come and go while I was out. Why do you keep saying that? Because it needs... What? It needs to be incomplete? Unresolved? No, it... Yes, in part. Frank, we are not having a resolved breakup. No, we are doing left at the altar. Well, not that dramatic, but... You know what I mean. No, our style is not slow and sad. It's sharp and swift. And sad. Uh, where is that book on expanding the living space? 
You never know. I might want to build myself a loft bed someday. Thank you. I told little John. Oh? He felt very bad. Sure, I bet he sobbed for a whole ten seconds. Dave, he asked for you. He's concerned. He cares very much, obviously. Will you tell him I care about him, too? Well, in fact, I'll tell him the next time I see him. He's a terrific little kid, and he deserves better. I agree. No, you don't. Never mind. You missed my meaning. You want to explain it to me? Well, it is not all that complicated. If you really wanted to do better by little John, you would have brought him home here to a freshly painted new room with a brand new loft bed and a set of regular old-fashioned parents. In other words, you would have married me. I know it sounds pretty trite to, to say that someday you'll feel different, but I believe you will. Oh, I'm going to feel many different ways. Hundreds, thousands. In fact, I'm going to go out and court all the ways one can feel, and I'm going to have a wonderful time. But I'm never going to let you off the hook, Frank. Not someday, not ever, because you should have married me. You should have trusted me enough to know that I would have made it work, because I would have, Jillian or no Jillian. You goofed. And you hurt me a lot. How could I be honest with you and spare you at the same time? Tell me, how? You could have married me in spite of everything. I... Sorry. It's too late for that now. I wish I had that option open to me, Faith. God knows it would have been easier in some ways. I hate hurting you like this. Is that right? Well, don't get that upset about it. Because I haven't been driven to drink. I haven't buried myself in my work. My life goes on. In spite of the fact that you love my sister. I hope it's a life full of happiness. Oh, it will be. In fact, I'm going to go out and have a ball, my dear. And you, you can go. <laughs> my father taught me that ladies don't use certain words. You catch my meaning. There's danger and drama on The Young and the Restless. Then catch today's All My Children and One Life to Live on SoapNet. Poison seeds. I am very grateful for everything you've done. Grow poison trees. Sleep with me. Kevin, Michael, and Gloria. We're a team. We stick together. <laughs> I believe that's called family. Fighting together to control an empire. It is good to be king. The Young and the Restless. Next on SoapNet. You're not going to give up, right? I can never trust him. He'll never know how much that means to me. You've never taken my side. Let's cut to the chase. I hate you, you hate me. Hola more. Days of Our Lives, tonight at 11, only on SoapNet. Kmart's lesson in love begins now with a fine box of Dove chocolates. A diamond heart pendant says she's one special lady. And show a little love with heart boxers, nice and silky. Do Valentine's Day right, only at Kmart. Look at this room, it's a mess. And what is this I found under the bed? Broom and dust fan letting you down? Get the Swiffer Sweeper. Picks up hair better than a broom. Swiffer gives cleaning a whole new meaning. Stressed out and can't sleep, but not ready for hardcore sleeping pills that can leave you drowsy all day? You need something strong enough to take the edge off, but mild enough to let you wake up alert, refreshed, and ready to go. 
That's why the hottest new sleeping pill isn't really a sleeping pill at all. It's Relicor PM, the belly fat pill you take before bedtime. Relicor PM helps control the stress that keeps you from falling asleep. New Relicor PM in both the sleep aid and weight loss sections of your local pharmacy. Call 1-800-915-9913. Order now. He claims total innocence and says that he has independent reports to prove it. He wants your head along with a total retraction. And 10 million. At minimum. I'd like to meet this guy. Wish you'd known that I was down in the press room. So do I. I could have used your evaluation. Of what? His honesty. He's serious? Jack, I have sat still for the furious outraged act hundreds of times. I can smell a bluff in a minute. There is something about Daniels that is not bluffing. What did you think? I don't know. I think he was lying. Jack's got all that information to back him up. Ray, the man's been caught. Just caught with his hand in the cookie jar. With both hands. The game's up. I mean, he can be fined, jailed, bankrupt, in no time flat. If he sounded genuine, it's because he is genuinely scared. Yeah. How tough was he? I mean, do I have to post a guard outside my apartment? Well, I'm not the one to ask. I just saw all the obvious stuff. He was angry, threatening. He's out to get you. Michael, I, uh, I think you're worried about me. Don't. Well, like you said, I have all the backup I could possibly need. Crimmins will uh, come out in the open if you ask. Well, sure, but before I ask him, I go to Nick Lewis. The lab technician. Yeah, we can publish his uh, statement. Will he? Well, of course. He's already agreed to that. Ray, he was forced to falsify those reports. It's the best thing he can do is to cooperate with us. Would you call him, Jack? Yeah. We may not have to publish, but I will just feel so much better if I can talk to him. This is no insult to you, but I'd just... Like to sleep soundly tonight. It's no problem. Nick Lewis, please. Uh, extension 432. He uh, didn't want me to call him at work, but I'm sure he'll understand. Nick, this is Jack Finelli. Finelli? Yeah. You sound tense. How's it going out there? Is this the Finelli that wrote that column? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Look, if you think you know me, you're mistaken. What are you doing, calling around to see how much more trouble you can make? Nobody at Yellar wants anything to do with you. That was a terrible thing you wrote. I couldn't even read it through. Nick, whatever fallout you've had to deal with, you have to realize... Hey, what is this, some kind of con game? Forget it, mister. There's no way I'm talking to you. What did he say? Claims we never met. Well, he's probably afraid for his job. No, you no, I... got him dead to rights on that statement, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, people uh, who supply information back off sometimes. That does happen. You know, the strange thing. What? This guy didn't sound like the Nick Lewis I met. His voice was different. Well, it is altogether possible that there are two Nick Lewises working there, but <laughs> you had the right exchange. Give it to me yesterday. Let me call Crimmins. It's odd, but we'll get to the bottom of this. Sure. Number's been disconnected. Relive the biggest mystery in history when the stars count the reasons we love soaps. Back-to-back -back Dallas filled with exclusive interviews you can't miss. Watch 100 Reasons We Love Soaps, Saturday starting at 1 p.m. on SoapNet.